we will be using spring security authorization should be authenticated this authority only to the admin book deleted successfully hello everyone a very warm welcome to think constructive i am isha in this session i will be discussing how to apply role based access to your java spring boot rest apis we will be using spring security authorization in order to apply role based access to our project all right so stay connected watch the session till the end so that you are not going to miss upon on any of the core concepts so let us quickly start with how to apply role based access to your java spring boot rest apis I hope you have done the bookstore project with the spring security authentication if you have not yet done i will just quickly give you the overview of the project and the previous session details are also getting displayed on the screen right now feel free to explore those sessions whenever you get time for now let us focus on building this application so what we have done in the last session we have built a book controller okay so since we are building bookstore here so book controller is having get book get all books create book update book and delete book apis all these apis are exposed along with that we have also exposed welcome api for the bookstore okay and also to persist data in the database we have built book repository layer as well as ser book service and book service impl layers all right and entity for persisting book in the database for data transfer we have built book dto and the mapper for entity to dto and dto to entity so this is what we have already built okay and also one more thing we have built security config to apply spring security all right so currently we are doing this application with in memory user so for in memory user what we have done we have created certain users user 1 pass 1 user 2 pass 2 and admin user with admin 1 as a password all right we have also created password encoder we are using bcrypt password encoder and a security filter chain wherein we are telling that which url should be permitted all that means there is no restriction to bookstore welcome url all right whenever someone will try to access this url they should be able to get this url without even providing user id and password that means without login information other than this all other urls that means get book get all book or create book update book or delete book all such urls should be authenticated and then only user will be allowed to get the information all right or to perform the said action okay so this is what we have done till now the next step what we are going to do now we will be applying role to these users okay and then we will be testing that whether these roles for the particular users are respected or not okay so now first let us apply roles to the individual user and then next step we will be applying roles to the individual urls all right let us apply role to the admin user first okay so what do i do user with username as admin then password and soon after the password encoding i will be giving role to this user okay role and then inside this i should be giving the role so whatever string i will be defining here the similar string i should be giving in the urls then these roles will be matched and then accordingly the authorization will take place okay so let's say for admin i would like to define role as admin okay similarly i would like to give roles to the user also so after this uh, password encoding for user 2 i will just give roles okay so soon after encoding i will just call roles method okay and here i will just say user i would like to define user role for for user 2 
and same role for user one also okay so i will just call roles method and here i will just give user fine so what i have done for all these three users user details one has got roles as user user details two has also got roles as user that means user one and user two both will be able to access the same urls whichever are permitted for roles as user whereas for admin user i have given roles as admin so admin should be able to access the urls which are only allowed for admin fine now let us come back to book controller and here in for welcome there is no restriction so no need to specify any roles here but for get book by book id so to find out specific book let's say i want to allow get book by book id to user i want to access i want to give access control to the user for get by book id all right so what do i need to do i can just say pre authorize fine this is the annotation i should be using for providing the access control or providing the role here all right and inside this in the double quote i should be writing has role okay and in brackets inside single quote i should give whatever role string i would like to define so here i want to give role as user all right get book by book id url can be accessed by the user who is having role as user fine now get all books i would want to give this authority only to the admin fine so how do i do that i will just say at pre authorize fine and inside this in double quotes i will just say has role and in brackets in single quotes i will just say admin fine so this string should be exactly as it is whatever i am giving here okay similarly for user whatever string i am giving here should match with this then only it will work fine now for creation of books that means if any book that means if any new book needs to be entered or created in the book store that authority should remain with admin only all right same logic goes for update and delete book so what will i do i will give has role as admin to create books fine to update books and to delete books practically user should not be allowed to create a new book entry or update books or delete books right these are the admin control activities or if you want you can create super user also for now i am just uh, sticking to admin so all these operations can be performed by admin only whereas get book by book id can be performed by user so user can open the website log in and view a particular book details whatever he wishes to check whereas admin can get the entire list of the books as well as he can create new book entry update any existing book entries or can delete the book right makes sense fine so what i have done i have created role restrictions to the particular rest apis fine and one more thing we should be doing in security config we have applied roles here also and now we should apply one annotation to this class so that the entire method level authorization can be enabled okay for that i should be writing at enable method security okay so this annotation will trigger the role based access wherever applicable all right so now let us quickly bring up the application and test so let us check the logs tomcat started on port 8080 okay and uh, bookstore application 
is started fine so i will now do the testing using postman because we need to test our post put delete all the operations fine so i'll quickly switch to the postman window so here is the postman and i will open bookstore test and here bookstore test i will open the get request so localhost 8080 slash bookstore fine slash so and get operation is selected that means i am going to query get all okay let us first test it without giving any login credentials and see what happens okay i'll just say send so it is giving me 401 and this request is unauthenticated fine because spring security is enabled i should be providing some login credentials so let me select basic auth and since i am going to query get all what i should be giving i should be giving admin username and password so i will just say admin and what was the password admin one i believe okay let us check it so in security config yeah admin and admin one with role as admin fine so here i have given username as admin and password as admin one and I will just say send. What happens? I am able to get all the book details. Fine. Now let us query for book B2. Okay. I will just give B2 here. That means I want to get the details only for B2. With username as admin and password as admin1. Let us see what happens. I will just say send. What am I getting? 403 forbidden access to this resource is prohibited that means you cannot access get by book id with admin username and password because this resource is accessible only to the user fine so the login details which are having role as user should be able to access that okay so what are the login details for that user one and pass one or user 2 or pass 2 fine let me just go ahead and give user 1 and pass 1 fine and now i will say send let's see what happens see i am able to get book b2 details fine now let us test the post put and delete operations also here is the post request and let us see if there is something in the body yeah so one book detail is already mentioned book b11 fine so let us try creating it with no auth i am getting unauthenticated error fine that means i should be able to give some user details so by default i am getting here user one pass one let us try create creating the request or creating the book with that send i am getting resource forbidden that means access to this resource is prohibited why because user is not allowed to create any entry for the book fine so what should i be doing i will just change it to admin and then admin one send fine i am able to create the book b11 fine now let us go back to get request and see all the books or let's say i want to see b11 whether it is created or not am i able to get it or not i am able to get this book fine cool now let us do a put operation that means update operation and for now let me just change the name of this book so the name i have written java good book now in the body what will I do I will just say Java excellent book okay so from good to excellent I am changing and let me just with put I will just say and again let us see authorization admin sent I am able to update this book name from good to excellent and now let us go back to get request earlier we were getting java good book now if i will send i should be able to get java excellent book see i am able to get the updated value java excellent book fine 
now let us do one more testing that is for delete operation fine i will just change the operation from here to delete and here i will be giving the book details which i would like to delete let me just check the delete url so what is there in delete delete book by book id so i should be providing the book id for deletion fine so what will i do i will give book b11 along with delete operation selected and basic auth and the username should be admin and admin1 i will just say send what is it saying book deleted successfully and the book id is getting printed fine now let me go back to get and try fetching book b11 details i will just say send it's this time it is giving me the error because it's unable to fetch the details for book b11 fine got it now let us try to delete one more book let's say b2 with the user 2 user 2 pass 1 i think this is the credential for user 2 let's verify user 2 pass 2 what i have given pass 1 so user 2 pass 2 fine and i am trying to delete book b2 send what am i getting resource forbidden because user role is not allowed to delete any book it's giving me 403 which is access to the resources forbidden fine i'll quickly summarize what we have covered in this session so we have applied specific roles to individual users and then we have enabled rest apis for those particular roles enabled method level authorization using spring security and finally we tested our rest apis using postman all right so i hope you were able to done till here in the next session i will be covering how to store user credentials in the database and how to authenticate and authorize your spring boot application using a spring security via user details and user details service all right meanwhile if you have any doubts or any comments you would like to ask please ask your doubts in the comment section below share the channel and session details with your friends family and colleague because that is how we will grow more stronger together see you in the next session bye for now